An Albuquerque protesters took to the streets when an officer shot and killed 19-year-old Mary Hawks in April. Tonight, we have new video from that shooting. It helps answer the question whether Hawks had a gun. As Regina Reese shows in this Target 7 report, it is video from an officer who witnessed the shooting. Good. Shots fired. Albuquerque police closed in on 19 year old Mary Hawks seconds after she was shot. Following the April shooting, police chief Gordon Eden said Mary Hawks had a gun and pointed it at officer Jeremy Deere. That's why he fired. The chief showed a similar gun to the one he says Hawks had and a picture from the crime lab of the actual gun. But that still did not convince critics that Hawks had a gun. The moment that Jeremy Deere opened fire on Mary Hawks was not recorded on his lapel camera. He told investigators that he did turn the camera on, but the manufacturer couldn't confirm that. But other officers did have their lapel cameras recording that night. Action 7 News obtained this newly released lapel video from an officer who witnessed the entire shooting from his car. He was the first officer on scene with Deere. He says he saw Hawks point a gun at Deer right before she was shot. Then that officer ran out of his car with his gun drawn. As he's running, you can see Mary Hawks' body and the gun right next to her, seconds after she was fatally shot. The officer ends up kicking the gun to the side. On another officer's camera, you see Jeremy Deer still pointing his gun at Hawks. Deer puts his gun away and heads to a police unit. The Albuquerque Police Department has not completed its criminal investigation into the shooting. Once it's complete, it will be given to the district attorney's office for review. Back to you. Deer was placed on a desk job after the shooting, but recently was put on administrative leave. APD says the move was not related to the shooting.